Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of trailer explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit schedule of flow from the module auto launch and schedule flows. This is the last unit of this module. So as part of this unit's challenge, we will be creating an automation in the form of schedule triggered flow that will regularly check the contact data quality. So this is the logic that we are going to implement in our schedule triggered flow. So let's quickly launch our trailer playground and simultaneously I'll explain you what actually we are doing. So I have already done, first of all, you have to make sure the default workflow user is set to yourself. And how we can do that, you have to go to setup, search for process automation settings. You have to select this option. And since this is the trailhead playground, so by default, it will be your user already assigned. So, so you will not have to worry about this, but this is the setting that I wanted to highlight so that you are aware of how we can change or set the default workflow users. Moving ahead, the next thing that we have to do is go to object manager contact, and we are going to create a checkbox type of field on contact object. So let's go to fields and relationship and create a new field. Data type will be checkbox. I'll copy the label from the challenge. Missing data has to be the label. Rest of the settings, we are keeping it as default. Let's just click on next and save. Now, the next thing is we have to create a schedule triggered flow. So just go to home, new flow. It will be schedule triggered flow and then click on create. Now here we have to, first of all, set the schedule, uh, like when this schedule flow will run. So start date has to be any date from the past when so selecting yesterday's. So 21st August and start time, you have to set it as 1 a.m. And the frequency will be daily. So every day at 1 a.m. it is going to run. So just click on done. Now for the object, we have to select the contact. And the condition that we are going to specify over here, let's take a look in the challenge. So the very first condition that we have to set is missing data is false. That means it's unchecked. And account ID, first name, email, phone, they are null. So these are the conditions that we are going to set. So let's just go back here. The first field is missing data. If it is equal to false, that means it's unchecked account ID is null true, first name is null and true, email is null true, and if phone is also null. And here the condition requirement has to be set to custom condition logic. And the condition logic that we are going to place is first condition should be in and with the rest of the conditions where the rest of the condition will be set with the or operator. So either of the condition from second, third, fourth, and fifth, namely account ID, first name, email, and phone. Phone. Either of these field is blank and our missing data field is unchecked. Then in that case, whole logic that we are going to implement after this condition will be implemented. Just click on done. Then next thing is we have to create a text template by the API name charter body and any body content we can place there. So let's just go to our toolbox option, click on new resource, text template, API name, I'm going to paste this body. Let's say, hey, and we have to make sure that we are mentioning the current contacts owner. All right, so let's just mention the current contact owner. So how we can do that at the rate square brackets open and close. And inside that we are going to put out the contact owner, current contact owner, current record contact owner by using the record global variable. So owner ID, I'm going to select the second one. 
Now, make sure it is between the opening and closing square brackets. And before that, you have to add the at the rate. Then after that, I'll say, hey, whatever the contact owner is. And then I'll specify, seems like some data is missing. Update to pass the data quality check. All right. So this is the content that we are placing here. And that's all. Click on done. Now, next thing is we have to add an update record element by the label update contact. So let's just go back there and use the update record element, label it. So let's make this field set to true. So whenever our condition are fulfilled, like the flow has decided that there is one record that is not passing the data quality check and the missing data field is unchecked. That means that record has not yet undergone the data quality check process. So once all of this condition is uh, checked and we got one record out of this, we got this custom logic value as true. That means there were some records of, uh, of contact object where missing data was false and out of contact ID, first name, email, or phone, either of these were null. So once we fulfill this condition, it will enter to the next step and there it will go to the contact record and the record which did not pass that quality check, it will mark that checkbox as true that, okay, this record did not qualify the condition which we have for the data quality for our contact record. So that way we'll get to know, okay, this record didn't pass a quality check and we are marking it as missing data set to true. So this is what we are doing over here. And the last thing that we have to do is post to charter element. Also, we have to add post to charter action. So let's just copy the label from here as well. Action and post to charter. Label it. For the message, we are going to use the charter body, which we just created. Target name, I'll use the record global variable and ID of the contact. That's all, just click on done. Finally, we'll be saving our flow and activating it. Just copy the label again. Check contact fields daily. Save it, label it. Click on save again. Let me just give you a gist what we are doing over here. For it will check for the record whether it has passed the data quality check or not. If either of these field, either of these four fields is null and missing data is set to false, then in that case it hasn't passed the data quality check and it will update the that particular contact record to make this field set to true. That means it will check this field that this record hasn't pass the data quality check and it will simultaneously post to the charter mentioning the contact owner that there are some data quality checks that need to be corrected. Now here there is one more thing that I'd like to add as part of this challenge that in the real world scenario it, is, it would be a little bit of a uh, a little additional work we'll, you'll have to perform that there will be an another schedule trigger flow that you'll have to create that will look for checked contacts with corrected data and unchecks the missing data field. Now, for example, I have a contact record where missing data field is set to false and all these three values, account ID, first name and email are there, but phone number I forgot to mention that on my contact record. Now, in that case, whenever this schedule trigger flow will run every day at 1 a.m., so the time it will detect one record that, okay, missing data is false. And I have, uh, and that contact record doesn't have the phone value. So this will, this condition will be coming out as true. Then after that, it will go to that contact record and update this missing data set to true. After that, it will post to Charter as well. Now, let's say 
I come next day and I I found that record. I filtered out my or I created a report where I filtered out my data. Tell me the latest contact records that were updated with the missing data field set to true. I got all the list of records that failed the data quality check uh, through this schedule triggered flow. Now I went to those records and I updated it. I filled out the phone number to on that contact record. Now this time my field, my all the data quality checks are passed. I have account ID, I have phone number, I have email, I have first name. All my data quality checks are completely fine. And this now should, now this missing field should be set to false. But as per the scheduled triggered flow, there is no logic that we are implementing to make that missing data field set to false. Once I have updated the missing conditions for the data quality process to fail. Right. So in that case, in real world scenario, you would require another schedule triggered flow that would check for the contacts with corrected data. So I corrected the data the very next day with the phone number and unchecks the missing data field. So that missing data field need to be unchecked. So this is the small concept that was that I wanted to highlight for your real world scenarios. So that's all we had to do. Let's just go back flow. Just debug our flow as well. So click on this debug button and make sure this first one is selected. Click on run. Now our flow has been executed. Go to the how the interview started tab. And there was one record which got implemented as for this schedule triggered flow. Copy that ID and go to your app launcher and search for contacts. Here I'll open any of the contact and I'll paste this ID in the URL. Now this was the record which didn't pass the data quality check as per our schedule triggered flow. So let's see what all fields are missing. So account name is there, so that quality is passed. First name is also there, Siddhartha. Then uh, another was phone number and email. So you can see email is blank and phone is blank. That's why it didn't pass the quality check and our field missing data has been set to true. Let's just go to chatter tab and there as well, we got one chatter post mentioning the user or the contact owner, which was trailhead explanation as you can see over here and the content that we have added there. Now, if you notice, there are some HTML tags, HTML para tags that are coming. That's because we had created our text template in rich text editor, but you can switch that to HTML text editor and this these HTML para tags will not appear. So that was the slight change, which is no part of this uh, challenge, but still that's something I wanted to highlight. So let's just go back and see whether we have pass this and activate this. Go back to your challenge and check whether we have passed it. There you go, this unit is completed as well as the module. See you in the next video with another unit. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.